Hello again folks, it's the 52 week Coleman challenge. This is week 9 and today's challenge is fish. I go to this fabulous restaurant in California and they do a sesame crusted tuna. So I'd like to try and simulate what they do. I've got some soy sauce here mixed with honey. And I'm going to just coat my tuna with the honey soy sauce mixture. Just get it on there on both sides. And now we will make with the sesame seeds. And the idea is to get a good crust of sesame seeds on here. I've pulled out my prepo stove. It's really cold and nasty and snowy outside. And uh, I don't particularly like using a Coleman fuel device in the house because of the smell. So I'm going to use the prepo. This is a butane stove. The stuff in here is some kind of isobutane. Um, the canisters for this stove are no longer available, so I want you to think about the kind of investment I've made in this project. Get it lit up. This is a surprisingly powerful stove for as cheaply made as it is. It takes it a second to kind of figure itself out. Once it's going, it'll throw a lot of heat. The control is really slow acting, and I'm not sure what makes that happen. So you turn it up, and then the flame gradually builds. This is a seared tuna, so the cooking time is actually really, really short. Just getting the pan good and hot. We're just going to sear this. You don't want to overcook tuna. Pan is definitely not as hot as it should be. It's not cooked real well on the outside. Get a little more heat. Alright, that's all done. Bring it over here. I've got my bread for my sandwich. This isn't really the right sort of bread, but it'll do. I'm going to just slice my tuna. See, we've got a little bit of cook. A little bit of knot. Transfer to our bread. Do a few little greens first. And then the secret ingredient. Secret ingredient, my favorite. Sriracha hot sauce, hot chili sauce. Just a light shot of this. If you don't like hot sauce, you could make up some kind of mayonnaise based sweet sauce to go with this. And there are crusted tuna sandwich. The sesame adds a, a, a nutty flavor to the tuna, which is otherwise a little bit bland. And of course you get these lovely extra pieces to have on the side. Tuna is such a quick cook that it takes way more time to set up than it does to actually cook the fish. Mmm. That's tasty. Well, we're nine weeks into this competition. I've used, uh, what, four or five? Five, I guess, different. No, oh, six. We gotta count Chris. Five or six different stoves. Um, I've gotten to have my lanterns out. This has been a, a really fun uh, challenge. It is a tremendous amount of work to break out a stove every single week and cook something, and, and uh, you got to hand it to the people who are keeping up with this challenge. So, anyway, that's week nine. Bring on week ten. Double digits. 